Speed, bandwidth, capacity, the three hallmarks of 5G. It's a combination that will make exciting new things possible. The technology is amazing, like a surgeon operating on a patient in a completely different state, holographic phone calls, or autonomous vehicles. But even though 5G is here, those things are still a long way off. Fox 61's Brent Harden is here to explain why for us. Brent. Uh, yeah, Jen, Ben, 5G is available now in Connecticut as soon as you buy a 5G-enabled device, of course, and you will likely notice the faster speeds and better reliability when you do. But some of that futuristic stuff you just talked about, Ben, well, we're not quite there yet. 5G is here. The wireless carriers proudly proclaim it in their storefronts. You can see the 5G cell sites on short towers, buildings, telephone poles, and billboard platforms. But it may not be all you were expecting, at least not yet. The marketing is ahead of the reality here. Experts agree 5G is a big improvement over 4G, featuring increased bandwidth, low latency, and larger network capacity. It will, they say, eventually usher in a world of augmented and virtual reality, driverless cars, remote surgery, and the so-called Internet of Things. Emphasis on eventually. The big thing that we need before 5G becomes what everyone hopes it will be is a very robust fiber optic network across the state and across the country. That's right, cable. Lon Seidman, whose YouTube tech channel gets more than a million views per month, says although 5G is a wireless technology, it will be serviced by thousands of these micro towers, all of which must be connected by fiber optic cable to a so-called backhaul or a source of massive amounts of data. Building out that network will take time and red tape. And that does have a lot of regulatory issues behind it and, and infrastructure and neighbors that have to agree to it being dug up or put up. Um, so you have to deal with all of that. On top of that, from a consumer standpoint, we still need more user-friendly apps to put the magic of 5G in the hands of the masses. Technology is hard, uh, and basically what app developers are doing in concert with uh, phone manufacturers is trying to come up with a new reality, a new world that this technology can provide. And there isn't an app for that yet. Quinnipiac professor Rich Hanley points to South Korea, the first in the world to launch 5G. He says surveys have shown lots of unmet expectations there. In fact, this article from the K-Asia Online says by late 2020, a half a million 5G customers in South Korea had switched back to 4G. And that's why American consumers should try to manage their own expectations. The stuff isn't here yet because it takes time to develop. But when it does come, it'll come really fast and people will be transported to a whole different way to interact with each other and with content of all different kinds. All of that is not to say the average consumer won't see immediate benefit. Once you buy that 5G phone, you'll benefit greatly from greatly increased capacity. I've been in many situations where I was inside a stadium and my phone had a great signal, but I couldn't even send a text message because the data was over capacity. And I think with better capacity means that more people can do more things at the same time. Tech company owner James Smith says download speeds will increase as well. If you're thinking about it from a download perspective, you know, downloading a, you know, an hour long movie might take, you know, a minute, you know, and 5G with the speeds that are, it's capable of, it'll probably be in like five to 15 seconds. Reduced latency will provide immediate benefit for online gamers and the increased capacity will allow doctors to communicate remotely with patients and their connected medical equipment at the same time you'll get that throughput as well as the ability for the patient and the doctor to have a good video call and get all the data from the equipment. So experts say 5G will be all it's cracked up to be with time. But the 5G rollout is just beginning and consumers should be prepared for incremental evolution, not overnight revolution. And Microsoft is working on something they call holoportation, which will allow you to join a family member or a co-worker in a virtual space appearing to one another as a hologram. Just one of countless ideas and apps under development now, so there are very exciting things ahead. And one final note, to make room for the new 5G technology, the major carriers are all shutting down their 3G networks. It'll happen over the course of 2022. So if you have an older 3G phone, you should contact your service provider to find out if and when you need to upgrade. Jen and Ben, back to you.